This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Watch, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with Tomer Capone about The Boys Season 3. How are you, Tomer? Hey, man. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited as well. Of course. Can you tell me what you relate to most about the character of Frenchie? Wow. Wow. Um, at this point, you know, after finishing fourth season uh, recently, um more than ever that's for sure i mean um first of all what what's not to love about frenchy right i mean it's the most probably the, the funnest most fun i ever had with a character in, in my career i mean it's just a blast you know um the quirkiness the, the, obviously the 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 the, the com comic aspect of it all but then behind it all the drama and the trauma and the, the grounded story that it has um what's not to love man i mean it's frenchy from the boys you know it's uh it's funny because when i get off set and i'm living my own private life i'm walking around in the world and uh sometimes i forget <laughs> the guy who portrays frenchy in the boys and then, uh, you know, it's it, it happens to me right now. And it happened to me yesterday, just just randomly down the street. You know, people, their, their reaction to Frenchie is so uh, uh, um, lovely and, and liveless and, and full of, of, of enjoyment. So uh, it's definitely one of the coolest characters I could, I could ask for. I think some of the words you use are definitely very contradictory, like fun and trauma. And I'm curious what it's like on set for a show like this that can be so entertaining, but also so horrific at times. Um, yeah, it's intense. You know, we shoot. Uh, I mean, there's a lot going in to make the show what it is. Uh, you know, it's not just uh, 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 um, luck. Obviously, we have the best crews working today. Uh down up up down it's just every time you know i'm excited like, like a little kid uh getting the new scripts and read the new words uh and 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 then obviously discussing it and making it um uh better and grounder and in more interesting and in the end of the day, for me as an actor, as a performer, uh, the world of the boys, the scale of the show is so big. So I, I'm, I'm jumping in like like a student. For me, it's just watching the best people doing their best job, like playing for the best team ever. And it's just it's 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 a um, humbling, beautiful experience for me. I'm learning a lot. But yeah, you're right. The dissonant, the yin and the yang, the dissonance between between our performances. One, you know, from uh, 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 one moment being com comic and funny, and you know, out of this world scenes like you, 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 you don't even understand how is this possible to shoot. Um, talking about the whale, I'm talking about the dance, I'm talking about all those big scale scenes. You like? Did I really read this? Are we really gonna do that? Um, but then at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's, and I said it before, I think that's what makes the boys, the boys so big and as big and as, uh, um, uh, up the top it is, it's grounded and it's grounded and, 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 you know, the one who holds the reins, the one who uh, navigates the ship is obviously our amazing, uh, um, showrunner, Eric Kripke who always remind us that as fucked up as this show is, we should keep it as grounded as possible in our performances and uh, stay, you know, true. So uh, definitely when we have some hard scenes, um, AKA Frenchy trauma past, you know, come, come to visit him. Uh, um, it's, it's game on and it's all about, you know, the work. And it's a very effects heavy show for some of those wilder scenes. What is it like filming those and what are what are you doing and how does it look different, you know, when we see it on, on our TVs? So again, it starts with me reading the script and uh, let's 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 talk about the dance, right? So I'm reading it and I'm I'm reading it and I'm think I think that I'm not dreaming that it's me in real life and I'm reading a script of something I'm supposed to do. 
but it's a deja vu to what I had in, in, in season two with the whale, which I had to go back and read it again because uh, I thought maybe I didn't read it right. And then you read it again. And then the first thing I do is call Karen Fukuhara and tell, tell her, Karen, are we really doing this? Did you read it? Is this happening? And uh, we take our excitement, uh, you know, we, we take it apart together. Um, and then obviously it's, it's, it's set in settings. Um, it, you know, again, uh, it's funny. People watch the show and say, it's so cool. It's so, you know, um, my back hurt for two whole weeks preparing for this dance. I mean, dancing is not easy. It's just, but, but the outcome it's it, worth, it's worth everything. Uh, specifically on those days, it's a trip, man. I mean, you, you're on, me and Karen on the dance sequence, we were on set looking at each other and thinking, where the hell are we? This is not the boys. Where's the blood? Where's the Gora? Where's the, you know, nobody's getting beaten. Nobody's falling down. Nobody's flying. Nobody's blowing something. Um, it felt like a whole different TV show. Um, but we were so in tuned to do justice with those and actually with all the big scale scenes to do justice with them. So it's, uh, again, it's, it's, it's a team effort and, and, and one of the good ones. It sounds like you do more damage to your back during the dance scene than the fight scenes. Is that right? For sure, man. For sure. Yeah. I wasn't born a dancer, but I'm proud to say more i mean the boys can you believe it the show like the boys made me a better dancer so cheers there you go well the big the big spectacle i think of season three is something that is a sore spot for frenchie and that's hero guys don't, i don't want to talk about it i don't <laughs> i'm trying you know everybody you want to talk about frenchie's traumas and his past this is frenchie's biggest trauma this or mine i don't know i don't know who is but you know, my my good, good friend, Lance Alonzo, who played Mother's Milk, always reminds me that uh, uh, um, that I am not worthy of the herogasm uh, scene. It's just a thing we have between us and him, um, you know, playing with me about how much fun it was on set over there. Yeah, it was painful. And you know what? What more painful? Just to feel the waves of the fans uh, uh, um, feeling so sad for Frenchie, not being there. It was it was emotional. <laughs> well, this show has such a big cast. Is there anybody that you really would love to be able to work with, but Frenchie just never crosses path with them? Oh, of course, Avi. Come on. I mean, you know, if, what makes the show even, 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 even. Uh, better than just doing a show in terms of living my life during filming this big scale TV show is, is, is obviously the cast and, 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 and um, our brothers in arm for the show. Um, obviously I'm not working have I here and there, but never really, really worked with any of the superheroes and uh, outside of set, we're good, good friends. We hang out a lot and uh I would, I would, you know, I would die to work with any one of them. I think this is one of the most talented uh, uh, group of actors on TV today. Uh, don't make me choose, man. All of them together. It's Frenchie against all the seven. That's, that's a good thing. Is this the kind of role that you think you could play for years and years? Or do you think this show needs to have a natural end sometime sooner than later? You know what? In the end of the day, that's not for me to uh, uh, to decide. Um, as long as the fans want it, as long as the, uh, uh, you know the ship has a trail to sail in, I'll be there for Frenchie always. I uh, I owe him a lot, and uh, I love the guy. And I always, always, it's the most fun process of coming back to the character. So anytime, any day, sure, why not? Well, aside from their uh, real support for you miss uh, for Frenchie missing Herogasm, are there any surprising fan reactions that you've gotten to the character? For the character, oh, that's a great question. I've never been answered before. For the uh, the question is always for me, uh, and that's easy. Just random French people come and start 
speaking French to me and me not controlling French as well as I should. Um, it, it, it It's funny. Those moments are funny. But uh, something about the characters. Well, you know what? Actually, when doing conventions and going to meet the fans, I always carry a notebook with me uh, because every now and then I will get the most intelligent, amazing pitch uh, uh, from the fans. And you, I don't know if they're watching this or will watch this or will hear this interview, but probably one, two, or maybe 30 ideas I heard in the last couple of years about French. You got in the show you know, in, in one way or another from wardrobe till uh, a curse word or uh, just an insight that they brought to the table. So, uh, yeah, definitely, because, you know, the fans of the shows are so, like, they're amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. So, guys, there's a notebook, and it's noted, and it's out there. And I'm sorry, but no, you're not going to get rigid jewels for that. <laughs> Well, I know you're not French, but what I didn't realize until I was looking back at your credits is that I had actually seen you in an Israeli film long before The Boys. I think maybe your hair was so different, that's why I didn't realize it, but it's a very different oh, role from uh, One Week and a Day, which is a really oh, yeah. wonderful film. Yeah, uh, I, I danced like? in that movie as well. Yeah. I danced in that movie as well. I broke a that's table in that that's dance, a, so. a different kind of uh different kind of heaviness mixed with with humor right yeah 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 do you think fans uh of the boys would be surprised to see you in a role like that and is that something that they should seek out uh actually in in the specific role of uh i play a guy like a stoner named zuler who comes into this uh uh Treated tragedy that that happens to a family and everything's kind of mixed in, um. But in this specific role, which I gained some pounds for, and I looked, yeah, you're right, completely different, very hippie. But in 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 a multiverse, he can be like Frenchie's cousin or 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 something, right? I don't know. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh man, you reminded me. I I, I forget stuff I do, you know. Of course. Well, while we're waiting for season four, which we're not going to talk about, is there anything else that you're working on that you want to share? Um, that I want to share. I'm, I have a lot of things on the grill, as 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 we say here. Um, uh, nothing in particular that I can talk about. A lot of interesting stuff. Obviously, the boys. Uh, is a big door opener uh, for new opportunities. Um, but I'm taking my time, man. I just want to, you know, I, I'm, I want to find the right thing uh, and not just grab. I want to take my time and do the right thing after Frenchie, obviously. So, yeah. And probably not something speaking French, given that everybody assumes you're fluent when, in fact, you uh, you are not. No, I will, I will speak French. I, I don't have a problem with French. Just don't let me dance. Just keep the dancing out for a second. I like that. Well, thank you so much, Tomer. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Abe.